Hi there everybody, welcome to this Vinyasa Flow class. My name is Maz and I'm going to be guiding you through your practice today. So we're actually going to start today by coming to lie onto your back, bringing together the soles of the feet, allow your knees to fall out to the sides and then just slowly roll all the way onto your back, coming into a reclining butterfly pose. And if you notice that your knees feel a little bit sensitive, you might want to support underneath your thighs. You can use blocks or cushions just to give you a little bit of extra stability. Finding yourself a comfortable position, bring one hand to rest onto your lower belly and bring the other hand to rest to the centre of the chest. If it feels comfortable for you to do so, allow your eyes to softly fall closed. And just take this first couple of minutes of your practice as an opportunity to arrive onto your mat, an opportunity to arrive into your practice space, an opportunity to begin inviting your awareness inwards. Start to notice how your physical body feels. Start to notice the breath, the movement of the breath underneath your hands, the rising and falling of the belly, the chest. Start to notice your mood, your energy level. Become aware of any thoughts, any emotions, whatever's arrived with you onto your mat today. Really building an awareness of of how you feel in this moment. And as you move through your practice today, really just allow yourself to honor how you feel. Really allow yourself to, to work into a space that feels good and nourishing for your body rather than, rather than forcing or pushing and pulling the body into places that maybe don't necessarily feel quite so good. So just taking a few more moments here to arrive, to settle in, to be with the breath, to be with how you feel. Maybe take this time to set your intention for your practice today. Maybe take this time to to think of someone that maybe you'd like to offer your practice to today. And then nice and slowly, start to release your hands to the outside of your thighs. Use your hands to draw your knees together. And then hug your knees into your chest, wrapping your arms around the outside of your legs. Give yourself a big hug. And then take a few little gentle rocks from side to side, giving your lower back a nice massage. From there, bring your hands to the back of your thighs and start to slowly rock up and down, inhaling up, exhaling down, gently massaging along the entire length of the spine. Take your time, rock yourself up and down and then eventually start to bring yourself to all fours. So rock yourself up, cross your ankles, draw your feet in underneath you and start to find your way to all fours, coming to this tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide, stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Press the ground away from you with your hands. Tuck your toes under and then gently lift yourself up to your first downward facing dog. Send your hips high and then gently encourage your heels down towards the ground. Take some time to find a little bit of movement in this first downward facing dog. You might pedal the heels, you might move the hips. You might raise a leg, taking a three-legged dog, opening up to the hip, moving intuitively, flowing with the breath. Become aware of how it feels to start to move your body. Is there any areas of tension or tightness? 
Is there any areas that feel quite relaxed and at ease? And then gradually start to slow your movements down. Find a couple of moments of stillness in your down dog. Spreading your fingers, spreading your toes. And then as you inhale, lift your heels. Look forward and slowly start to tiptoe your feet towards the front of your mat. Separate your feet hip distance. Take an inhalation, lengthen and look forward. As you exhale, soften your knees and release into a forward fold. Allow your head to hang heavy. Take your hands to your opposite elbows and just gently sway your torso from left to right. Finding some movement, finding some softness. Breathing here. And then coming back to centre, release your elbows, bring your hands down to the mat, soften the knees a little bit more if you need to, and gently bring your chin to your chest. Slowly start to walk your hands up the front of your legs, keep your chin tucked in, and really, really slowly unroll all the way up to standing, release your arms by your sides. Keep the distance between your feet for now. Take an inhalation, draw your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Exhale, softly slide your shoulders all the way back and down. From there, step your feet to the top of your mat and come to your mountain pose. You might have feet together. You might keep a little bit of space between the feet if that feels better for your lower back. Release your arms by your sides and just close down your eyes for a moment. Start to really feel your connection to the ground underneath your feet. And then start to tune into your breath, breathing in and out through the nose, gently contracting the back of your throat to start to cultivate your ujjayi breath. So breathing in and breathing out with that soft, even, steady ocean sound. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, open up your eyes, inhale, raise your arms, reach high, exhale, fold all the way forward, soften the knees if you need to, inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, place your hands down, step your right foot back, step your left foot back, come to your high plank. Take an inhalation here to stabilize and really activate through the core. With your next exhalation, start to bend your elbows. We're coming all the way down to the mat, maintaining a straight line. Once you get all the way down, untuck your toes. Inhale, lift your chest, draw your shoulder blades together, come to cobra. Exhale, lower your chest down. Inhale, come to all fours. Exhale, sit back into a child's pose. Lengthen through the back of the body. Inhale, all fours. Tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale for one. Exhale for one. From there, bend your knees. Look forward. Step your right foot forward. Step your left foot forward. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. The breath carries you, reach high. Exhale, release your arms by your sides, mountain pose. Let's go again. Inhale, raise your arms, reach high. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, place your hands. This time, step your left foot back. Step your right foot back, come to that strong high plank. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, draw your belly button towards your spine. And then as you exhale, come all the way down in a straight line. You might drop your knees if you need to. Untuck your toes, inhale, lift your chest. Cobra, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, chest lowers. Inhale, come to all fours. Exhale, sit back into your child's pose. Inhale, all fours. Tuck your toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhalation and an exhalation. Bend your knees, step your left foot forward. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen, look up. 
Exhale, take a deep forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach high, lengthen through the side ribs. Exhale, release your arms by your sides, mountain pose. Bend your knees, inhale, raise your arms, sit low, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, place your hands, step back to your high plank. Take an inhalation here to stabilize. Next exhalation, you're either gonna come all the way down or lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, coming onto the tops of your feet, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, Step your right foot between your hands. Left heel stays lifted. Inhale, rise up to your high lunge. We're gonna take a couple of breaths in here. So keep that left heel lifted high. Draw the left hip forward as you draw the right hip back. The inner thigh is drawing in towards the center line. With your next inhalation, join your palms, bring your thumb knuckles to the center of the chest. Exhale, start to send your weight into your right foot. Send the chest forward, use your glutes. Inhale, lift up your left leg. We come into a warrior three. Crown of the head extending forward, left leg extending back. Take one more breath and then press the ground away from you with your right foot. As you inhale, slowly draw the left knee into the chest. Take an exhalation here. From there, we're gonna come into tree pose. So bring the sole of your left foot to the inside of either the right thigh, maybe just below the right knee, or maybe you take the foot to the ankle. Keep your palms together. Take a moment to stabilize here. Keep pressing the ground away from you with your right foot, pressing the left foot against the right leg, pressing the right leg against the left foot at the same time. Lengthening, standing tall, breathing here. Let's take one more breath. Wonderful, with control as you inhale, bring the left knee back into the chest once again. Exhale, send that left leg all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale, return to your high lunge, reach high. Exhale, open up warrior two on the right side. So the outside edge of your left foot is turned parallel to the back of the mat. Bring the arms to T, press actively and equally through the fingertips of both hands. Find that nice deep bend into the right leg and gently lengthen the tailbone down towards the ground. Take one more breath here. And then with your next inhalation, straighten your right leg, turn the right toes in. So bring the feet parallel, raise both arms, reach high and lengthen. And then as you exhale, fold all the way forward, placing your hands down onto the mat. Take an inhalation to lengthen. As you exhale, come and take a few breaths in your forward fold, your Prasarita Parottanasana. Feet grounded, legs active, kneecaps lift, quads engage. Maintaining the length through the spine and the length through the side ribs. Take one more beautiful breath here. And then as you inhale, press the ground away from you, lengthen and look forward. Start to walk your hands forward. Give yourself a little bit of space. From there, start to pour the weight into the hands, lift up your heels, come to balance on the balls of the feet. From there, step or jump your feet together and drop your knees. Come on up to a high kneeling, still facing the long edge of the mat. Start to extend your left leg out to the left side. Again, the outside edge of that left foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Take your arms to T, just like in your warrior two, as you inhale. As you exhale, slide your left hand down the outside of your left leg and reach the right arm all the way alongside the right ear. Keep rotating the chest, finding that beautiful stretch all the way through the right side of the body. Breathing here. Strong energy through that left leg. Keep rotating the chest, keep breathing. In through the nose, out through the nose. Take one more breath. 
and exhale nice as you inhale come back up to center take the arms to T as you exhale plant your right hand onto the mat extend your left arm alongside your left ear reaching the fingertips of the left hand all the way forward press the ground away from you with your right hand maybe you're going to stay with the right knee on the mat Maybe you're going to really press into that right hand and start to hook the right ankle behind the left ankle, pressing down, reaching that left arm long, coming into your side plank variation. If you have extended that right leg, squeeze the inner thighs together, lift up through that right hip, maintaining that beautiful side stretch on the left side. Taking one more breath wherever you are, and then whichever variation you're in, as you inhale, slowly bring your left hand onto the mat. Find your way to your high plank. Exhale, take your vinyasa. Inhale, your back bend, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, push back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out from your downward facing dog. Drop your knees, come to all fours. Keep your hips and knees in one line and then slowly start to walk your hands forward and start to lower your chest down towards the ground. Coming into Anahatasana or melting heart, maybe your chin comes down, maybe your forehead comes down, whatever feels better for you. You might stay still in here and just breathe or you might like to gently move with the breath. So inhale, lift up through the chest. Exhale, ripple the chest back down. Inhale, lifting up, move with the breath. Exhale, lower down. Take two more breaths. Maybe you're moving, maybe you're still. Whatever feels good for you. And exhale. With your next inhalation, start to make your way back to all fours. Tuck your toes, exhale, lift up, find your downward facing dog. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Let's come onto the left side. Inhale, send your left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Right heel stays high. Inhale, rise all the way up. Come up to your high lunge. And we take a few breaths in here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Gently drawing the inner thighs in towards the midline. Strong energy through that right leg. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, join your palms. Bring your thumb knuckles to the center of the chest. As you exhale, start to pour the weight into the left foot. Send your chest forward. Use your glutes and start to float your right leg up, coming into your warrior three. Keep the chest lifted. Crown of the head extends forward, right leg extending back. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Stay strong through the core. Nice. Slowly start to bring your right knee into your chest, pressing the left foot into the ground. Exhale. Take it into your tree pose. So your variation, placing that right foot where is comfortable for you. Make sure you're not placing it directly onto the left knee joint. Make sure you're protecting that knee. Standing tall, standing steady. Breathing here in through the nose and out through the nose. Pressing that left foot into the ground as you breathe in and breathe out. Wonderful. With your next inhalation, draw the right knee into the chest with control. Exhale, send your right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Inhale, rise up, come back to your high lunge. Exhale, open it out to your warrior two on the left. So you might need to take your stance a little bit wider. The outside edge of your right foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Take that nice deep bend in the left leg. Externally rotate your thighs. Lengthen your tailbone down towards the ground. Breathing here. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Take one more breath. 
in through the nose and exhale nice as you inhale straighten your left leg turn the toes in bring the feet parallel raise your arms reach high and really lengthen through the sides of the body as you exhale come once again into your forward fold place your hands down to the earth take one inhalation press the ground away lengthen and look forward as you exhale come into that forward fold your prasarita padottanasana a Keeping that length through the side ribs, that length through the spine. Try to bring your weight equally into all four corners of both feet. Spread the toes, press the ground away from you. Wonderful. With your next inhalation, press the ground away, lengthen. Walk your hands forward. Keep the arms nice and straight and then start to pour the weight into the hands. Lift up your heels, come to balance onto the balls of the feet. See if you can stack the shoulders over the wrists and then step or float the feet together. Drop your knees, come up to that high kneeling once again, facing the long edge of your mat. This time we're going to extend the right leg out to the side, keeping that right leg as straight as you can. If possible, toes facing the long edge of the mat. So the outside edge of your foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Take the arms to T as you inhale. As you exhale, slide your right hand down the outside of your right leg. Reach your left arm alongside your left ear. Rotate the chest. See if you can feel that beautiful stretch through the left side of the body. Breathing here, keep rotating the chest towards the ceiling rather than allowing it to face down towards the ground. Find that space, find that openness. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the nose. Take one more beautiful breath here. Use your inhalation to come back up to center, arms to T. Exhale, plant your left hand onto the mat. Sweep your right arm alongside your right ear. Press the ground away from you with that left hand. Stack the shoulder over the wrist and really find stability through that left shoulder joint. Again, rotating the chest towards the ceiling. Maybe you keep the left knee down. Maybe you're gonna start to hook the left ankle behind the right, lifting up through that left hip. Keep extending the right arm alongside the right ear really finding that beautiful stretch through the right side of the body. Staying with the breath. If you're keeping that knee down, then you're still going to be working to find that lovely stretch through the side body. You're still going to be pressing the ground away from you with your left hand. Take one more breath here. Nice. From wherever you are, inhale, bring your right hand down to the mat. Come to a high plank. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhalation. Take an exhalation. From there, drop your knees. Come to all fours. Couple of options. First option is to once again come to Anahatasana, melting heart. So walk your hands forward. Release your chest down. Again, you can stay still or maybe you're going to take those Nice pulsations with the chest. If you don't feel like taking another Anahatasana, then you're going to come into a dolphin pose. So elbows come down, forearms come down. Squeeze the elbows in close, press the ground away from you. Really start to work on building strength in the shoulders. When you're ready, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Maybe you stay here. You might start to walk your feet in. Keep pressing the ground away from you. Once you've walked the feet in, you might have a play with inhaling your right leg up. Exhale your right leg down. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale your left leg down. Maybe do that a couple of times on each side. And maybe at some point you might feel like having a little play with coming up into your forearm stand. So lifting one leg, coming high up on the ball of the other foot, and then maybe just having a little play coming into your Pinchamayarasana, your forearm stand. Wherever you are, stay connected to the breath. Take two more breaths wherever you are, whether you're in that Anahatasana, your dolphin pose, you're playing with your leg lifts, 
or you've come up into your forearm stand. From wherever you are, slowly start to find your way down. And just come for a moment to sit back onto your heels, rest your hands onto your knees or into your lap, close down your eyes. Take a deep inhalation through your nose. Open up your mouth, sigh the breath out gently. Do that one more time. Deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale, open up the mouth, sigh it out. And then gently seal the lips. And just let your breath be whatever it needs to be. Let go of any ujjayi breath. Let go of any conscious breath control. And just, just let the breath be. If you feel comfortable sitting on the heels, then please feel free to stay a few more breaths here. If you prefer to, then you might like to come into a child's pose, maybe taking the knees a little bit wider so you can release the chest down between the thighs, release the forehead down, maybe onto a block, maybe onto the mat, and just take a couple of breaths here. Send your hips back towards your heels. If you feel like your hips are quite far away from your heels, you might like to pop a block underneath your forehead just so you can really release down, breathing in and breathing out in any way that feels good for you. Noticing any shifts in, in your awareness of the body, of the breath, of your thoughts, of your emotions. Take a couple more moments, wherever you are, whether you're sitting on your heels or you've decided to move towards your child's pose. And then from whichever of those variations you've chosen, start to come towards all fours and then start to make your way through to seated. Come to lie down onto your back and bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a lovely big hug. Wrap your arms around your shins and once again, take a few little gentle rocks from side to side. And from there, bring your knees to center. Take your arms out to the sides. We're gonna come into a supine twist. So start by dropping your knees over to the left side. Maybe you slide your hips and your upper body over to the right. And just take a couple of breaths in here in this twist, finding space through the right side of the body. See if you can just gently allow the right shoulder to keep drawing down towards the ground. Breathing here, in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. And from there, slowly start to bring everything back to center. Bring the knees back to center. Bring the hips back to center. Draw the knees in. Again, take a few little rocks from side to side. And then bring the arms to the sides and take your second side of your twist. Dropping your knees to the right, maybe sliding your hips and your upper body over to the left. Draw that left shoulder down towards the ground this time. Find that space through the left side body. And just take a few breaths here in your twist. Grounding your energy, slowing down. And then slowly bring everything back to the center. Bring your knees into your chest once again. Give yourself a lovely big hug. Maybe take a few rocks side to side. And then from there, in your own time, in your own way, start to make your way towards your Shavasana. So you might stay lying on your back and just extend your legs, extend your arms. You might prefer to lie on your side. You might prefer to come to lie on your front. You might like to take your legs up the wall, whatever feels good for you. Please just know that you don't have to take your Shavasana lying on your back. So just take a moment to find, find a place where you can really relax. 
where you can soften and let go of any tension or tightness. Let the breath just flow in and out without control, without you trying to consciously control. And just feel the entire weight of your body being held by the mat, by the ground, by the earth. For this next couple of minutes, you've got nothing to do, nowhere to go. Just allow yourself to be here in this space, this moment, this time. If you do feel that you would like to spend a little bit longer in your Shavasana, then of course, please feel free to. If you feel that you're ready to, to start coming out, then just start to find a little bit of movement in your body. Whatever feels good for you, there's no right or wrong. Just let the body move freely, intuitively. And then in the next few moments, do what you need to do to start to bring yourself up towards a comfortable seated position at the top of your mat. Maybe you're sitting with your legs crossed. Maybe you prefer to come to sit onto your heels. Feel free to grab a block or a cushion if you feel you need a little bit of extra height. Rest your hands lightly onto your knees or into your lap. Sit up nice and tall and close down your eyes if it's comfortable for you to do so. Just take a couple of moments to be still, to notice how your body feels, to notice the quality of, of your breath, to notice your mood, your energy level, your thoughts, your emotions. As you did at the beginning of your practice, just invite this awareness to all of the different layers that make up your experience. And then gently join your palms together. Bring your thumb knuckles to lightly rest at the center of your chest. And take a moment to reflect on your intention. Take a moment to reflect on the person or people that you, that you chose to dedicate your practice to today. Honouring that intention, honouring that dedication. And then gently bring your thumb knuckles to the centre of your forehead, the third eye space. Take a moment there, connecting to that space of intuition and wisdom. And then slowly come into a forward fold, placing your hands down onto the earth, giving thanks to the earth. Thank you so much for practising with me today. And I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you again next week. Thank you so much. Take care.